In this section, we are going to take a look to next generation firewalls and the IPS. Guys, firewalls are a standard security tool for the majority of companies, but in today's changing threat landscape, next generation firewalls are the only firewalls that can provide proper protection. The former firewalls were just able to perform some protocol inspections and port inspections but uh, these deep packet inspection firewalls are moving beyond port protocol inspection and blocking to add application level inspection, intrusion prevention and bringing, bringing intelligence from outside the firewall. So as the name suggests, uh, next generation firewalls are a more advanced version of the traditional firewall and they offer some benefits, but next generation firewall has some advanced features. Like regular firewalls, next generation firewall use both static and dynamic packet filtering and VPN support to ensure that all connections between the network internet and firewall are valid and secure. Both firewall types should also be able to translate network and port addresses in order to map IPs. There are also fundamental differences between the traditional firewall and next generation firewalls. The most obvious difference between two is next generation firewalls ability to filter packets based on application skies. These firewalls have extensive control and visibility of applications that is able to identify using analysis and signature matching. So that means for example uh, if you want to block Skype in a network or if, if you want to block Facebook in a network or any other application, you can do it with the next generation firewall, which is not possible to do it with a traditional firewall. And also, uh, they can use whitelists or a signature-based IPS to distinguish between safe applications and unwanted ones, which are then identified using SSL decryption. Unlike most traditional firewalls, next generation firewalls also include a path through which uh, feature updates will be received. And let's go ahead with the uh, benefits of next generation firewalls. A next generation firewall performs traditional firewall features like stateful firewall filtering, NAT and VPN termination and it's also uh, providing us application visibility and control. This feature looks deep into the application layer data to identify the application. For instance, it can identify the application based on the data rather than port number to defend against attacks that use random port numbers. Next generation firewall also provides uh, advanced malware protection guides. NGFW platforms run multiple security services, not just as a platform to run a separate service, but for better integration of functions. A network-based anti-malware function can run on the firewall itself, blocking the files, file transfers that would install malware and saving copies of files for later analytics. Also, Next generation firewalls can provide URL filtering. This feature examines the URLs in each web request, categorizes the URLs and either filters or rate limits the traffic based on rules. Also, next generation firewalls uh, can run their NGIPS next generation IPS feature along with the firewall. Let's talk about the uh, IPS, Intrusion Prevention System also. An IPS is a network security threat prevention technology that examines the network traffic flows 
to detect and prevent vulnerability exploits. Vulnerability exploits usually come in the form of malicious inputs to a target application or service that attackers use to interrupt and gain control of an application or machine. Following a successful exploit, the attacker can disable the target application or can potentially access to all the rights and permissions available for the uh, compromised application. The IPS guys often sits directly behind the firewall and provides a, a complementary layer of analysis that negatively selects for the dangerous content. And also I need to tell this one, uh, IPS is not a separate uh, hardware in today's networks and mostly they are integrated into the firewalls. So unlike its pre predecessor, the Intrusion Detection System, IDAS, uh, which is a passive system that scans traffic and reports back on threats, the IPS is placed in line actively analyzing and taking automated actions on all traffic flows that enter the network. Specifically, these actions include like uh, sending an alarm to administrator, dropping the malicious packets, blocking traffic from the source address and resetting the connection. As an inline security component, the IPS must work efficiently to avoid degrading network performance. It must also work fast because exploits can happen in uh, near real time. The IPS must also detect and respond accurately so as to eliminate threats and false positives. And the IPS, guys, uh, has a number of detection methods for finding exploits, but signature-based detection and statistical anomaly-based detection are the two dominant mechanisms. Signature-based detection is based on a dictionary of uniquely identifiable patterns or signatures in the code of each exploit. As an exploit is discovered, its signature is recorded and stored in a continuously growing dictionary of signatures. Signature detection for IPS breaks down into two types. First, exploit-facing signatures identify individual exploits by triggering on the unique patterns of a particular exploit attempt. The IPS can identify specific exploits by finding a match with an exploit-facing signature in the traffic stream. And second, vulnerability-facing signatures are broader signatures that target the underlying vulnerability in the system that is being targeted. These signatures allow networks to be protected from variants of an exploit that may not have been directly observed in the wild, but also raise the risk of false positives. And also IPS can provide statistical anomaly detection. Statistical anomaly detection takes samples of network traffic at random and compares them to a pre-calculated baseline performance level. That is a really, really cool feature, guys. When the sample of network traffic activity is outside the parameters of baseline performance, the IPS takes action to handle the situation.